continuation of cleaning my yard. I did repot or replant a bulb down in here because I did break the flower I was trying to save. Even more cookouts. Trees growing in here. These are more pieces of my what I'm going to be doing to uh get rid of. This belongs on my porch as I said, but um, I don't have the tools and equipment needed to fix this properly. So for now, I'm just going to do but this. <laughs> um, I'm going to need an extra set of hands. You can hear my son on your I apologize. I don't mind that I broke that, it's already pretty much broken. Spider. Cricket. Spiders.
told to the story. If I survived a black widow bite, which is scary but pretty cool. I don't know many people who survived it. There's actually not many. That's a big one. What was that? There's not many spiders in my state um, that are harmful to humans. The only one that's actually in my area. Um, black widows are not in my area. I was out of my area when I got bit. Um, it's a brown recruiter. I forget how you say it. But that's the only one that's harmful. And they're pretty big and easy to spot, so I'm aware of what they look like and being safe. Help. No, that's actually a, a millipede or a centipede. I'm actually AIB certified, so some of these bugs are actually <coughs> beneficial to have in your yard. Uh, AIB is <coughs> the American Institute. There's another spider. I got a lot of for. The American Institute of Bacon. I used to work as a sanitation supervisor and was trained how to do pesticide removal, um, cleaning, cleaning at a legal level, as well as writing documentations for it in English and in Spanish, the legal binding contracts. Which is something I'm proud of, and I wish I could continue that job. I was really good at it, but um, became disabled, and it's not that I am incapable of working. It's my mental health uh, doesn't allow for it. Which is why I speak out openly about mental health matters. Because it affects children, it affects adults. And it's important. It's important to take care of your mental health. And it's just as important to take care of your mental health that is, as it is to take care of your kids, your planet, the world. Because mentally, if you're not stable, so if you're watching this video, I hope you're doing well, and breathe, and relax, and hopefully it'll be okay. And that is a cicada shell. They are similar to locusts. This is a shell of one that has um, morphed or whatever. It's grown out of its shell. Actually pretty cool. They make really interesting chirping sounds. This is trash that <clears throat> absolutely needs to pick up, which is why we do it. If you are doing this at home, I do recommend using gloves. I am choosing to not just as a personal choice. I recommend using gloves and access equipment because there are tools that make this a little bit easier. But 
they're not easier for me. And everybody's different. And to me, that's okay. So we're allowed to be different and think differently and do things differently because everybody matters. That I'm going to let go because I don't know what it is. <laughs> My kids came <laughs> out. I'm glad he's having fun. He's had a pretty traumatic time here lately, and it brings me to the laughing. I'm actually right-handed, so I'll use my right hand. True story. Um, I was actually left-handed, but um, in kindergarten to the third grade, I was in Catholic school, and they had me learn to use with my right hand. So sometimes I put pill bug. Sometimes I get confused. Like, I enjoy skateboarding. Um, and I used to be in track for hurdles. And I'm goofy footed. I am left foot dominant. Right hand dominant. Well, rollerblading is goofy footed, I guess. This is still the same difference. And this is where I broke my flower. This is... No, I feel bad. But I will bring it to my friend. She's... Neighbor's kid. I'm gonna hang out sometimes. She's pretty cool. Mm, she might like a flower. Might cheer her up. And I have another friend, he might like it. Which I might give it to him. Because guys don't normally receive flowers. And that's kind of sad. Personally, I don't like flowers as gifts, but that's just because I'm terrible at taking care of them. But I mean, I think guys deserve flowers. Kids deserve flowers. I mean, if they like them. But since I cut that out of my yard and have no use for it, if he doesn't want my flower, he's more than welcome to throw it away. Or give it to his parents or 
her friends or this kindness matters. And it cost me nothing to dig out that flower. And it'll cost me nothing to give it to somebody who might appreciate it. And if you're watching this, I recommend that you do the same. Because there's a lot of people, in my opinion, going through a lot. I'm going to leave that go because I'm just going to rip that out actually. <clears throat> there's a lot of people going through a lot. And you never know what difference you can make in somebody's life by doing something kind for them. And I believe that collectively, especially the adults, if we start thinking together as a global society, just because how easily it is to watch and transfer information from one country to the next, I think everybody everywhere should be kind to one another. Spiders. But that's just my opinion. You are more than welcome to disagree. But I think the world would be a better place for everybody if we could consider one another as equal, regardless of race or national origin, sexual identity, color of skin, religious preference. But that is my opinion. If you're watching this and you disagree, I respect you. If you're watching this and you yourself feel unwelcome or unwanted and unloved or unaccepted, just know that I care, even if I don't know you. You matter. You matter more than you ever think. Nosotros juntos podemos caminar todo el mundo. In English, that means together we can change the world. And I believe that's 100% so. Kindness matters. You matter. To me, it doesn't matter how old you are, what your sexual orientation is, what your sexual identity is. 